there. Thanks for watching. In this video, I'm going to share with you three of my favorite Canva shortcuts. Now, these shortcuts are not going to shave off hours of your day or anything, but I use these almost every time I'm in Canva. And for me, it just makes creating a little more fun because I feel so smart when I have a shortcut, don't you? There are a lot of shortcuts in Canva. And yesterday we shared an infographic. So you can go back to that post and look at that if you want to. And it's a link to something that Canva created just to give us all, all these different shortcuts that they have. So when you create original content, and put your face on there and your content doesn't look like everyone else's. Maybe if you're in direct sales and you are tempted to use all the same graphics and that kind of thing, even from our content calendar, um, we don't encourage you to always just use the graphics that we provide, but to also create your own original content. Before I get into the tutorial, I do want to tell you this. I know a lot of us like to use our phone when we're doing our business, but when it comes to creating in Canva, we strongly encourage you when possible to use your computer, your laptop for the creation part. You can always open up your Canva app after you've created it on your computer and then just save it right to your phone. And let's just say, for example, you wanted to post it to Instagram. Sometimes it might be a little easier to do that from your phone, but creating the process is just way easier when you do it from a computer. All right, let's get started with the tutorial. All right, here I just pulled in a template that uh, was already on Canva. And the first shortcut I wanna show you is one that I probably use every single time I'm on here. And it's simply typing the letter T. And what that does is it pops up the text bubbles. So when I type a T, the text pops up, you're able to type in your text. Of course, you can up here at the top, you can change the font, the size, the color, make it bold, italicized, all that stuff just like you could if you went over here to the left and selected text and went through those steps. So, so that's one of my favorite shortcuts, typing that T on your keyboard and instantly getting the option to type in your text. One of my other favorites is drag and drop. So if you have a photo or some type of element that you wanna pull into Canva, instead of coming over here to the uploads, and clicking on upload and going through those steps. So you'll just open up your finder or wherever you have your photos saved and just drag it. So I'm just simply gonna click and hold and then drag it over. So here we go, click and hold and then drag and drop. And you can see there it's uploading. And then of course you can click on it and add it to your graphic. And if you do have the pro version, you can edit the image and quickly remove the background. And last but not least is a shortcut to duplicate. So this is one I use a lot when it comes to text. I use Command D. So whatever you have selected on your screen, in this case, I'm gonna select April and I'm gonna hit Command D. It just simply duplicates it. And why would you wanna do that? Well, this is what I do with it. So then I go to Effects and I create a hollow version of that. And I change the color to help it stand out. And then you just drag it across like that. You might wanna duplicate one of the photos on there. So you select it, Command D, and then you've got even more flowers. So you can see how easy that is. So the T is gonna add the text bubble, drag and drop for any photos that you have you wanna to add to your graphics. And then Command D will allow you to duplicate anything that you have selected on your screen. You might wanna write them like I did on a post-it note and just have it right there at your computer. So the next time you're in Canva, you can try them out and let us know what you think.